Hey party people, uh, we're going to go over how to measure the frequency and the wavelength of uh, a sound wave in this FET simulation. So the first thing you need to do is um, let's talk about measuring the frequency. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my wave, right? You can see that uh, it's going to generate that wave going out into space. Uh, but I am going to click on the graph, right? Because the graph makes it easier to kind of see what's going on, okay? So to measure the frequency, right, we need to figure out how many cycles per second is this speaker going in and out, right? So when it goes in and out is one cycle, okay? And then we need to figure out how fast that happens uh, per some time. So we're going to need our timer. So go ahead and drag that out and put it here. Okay. Um, and we're going to need to actually kind of slow this thing down so we can actually get a, a decent measurement. So I'm going to click uh, slow here to kind of make it go slower. And then I'm going to uh, pause it. Now I can see when that speaker is totally out by looking at the um, this first pressure wave here between the 0 and the 50, right? So you see if as I move time forward by pressing this little uh, fast forward button, as I move time forward you can see this peak is going up and down. So I'm going to get it to a point where it's right at the tippy top. Okay, looks like we're right there. And at this point I'm going to hit the play button on my timer. Now, when I hit the forward button, right, as my speaker starts to contract back out, okay, I can see that my pressure wave is descending, gets to a minimum, and then it's going to come back up, and I'm going to find that point right where it's at that tippy top again, okay? So, you can see that it took 3.06 milliseconds for one cycle, right? And we're going to write this as one cycle per, per, per 3.06 milliseconds. So that's how you find the frequency. Now, to find the wavelength, it's actually a lot easier, right? All we have to do is take the, uh, the um, tape measure, and we're going to find the top of the peak in our wave and stretch it from one side of the wave uh, to the top of the peak on the other side of the wave. Okay, And if I drag that out, it's easier to see. Okay, So the frequency of this wave is 1 divided by 3.06 uh, milliseconds. And the wavelength of this sound wave is 101 centimeters.